idea of, of actually hearing a blue whale singing off of New York was just exciting to me. And I didn't expect it. It's the first time that this has ever been not documented. So what we did was we put a net of underwater recorders starting about middle of Long Island off Fire Island and going offshore. Every 10 miles we put another recorder until we were about 80 miles offshore. The recorders come back, we take the hard drives out, we re-stitch them all together. It was actually early one Saturday morning. I got up, I work at home, and I was like, okay, nice and quiet, good cup of coffee, sitting there, and I started scanning through the, the skies, the ocean skies off New York, and it was like, oh my gosh, look, what's that? And then I grabbed it, and I zoomed in on it a little bit more, and focused, and it was like, I listened to it, it's a blue whale. Because their voice is totally unique among the whales. It's that low, long, hooting sound that comes sort of mysteriously through the ocean. You and I wouldn't be able to hear them because their voices are so low in, in pitch that our ears can't perceive sounds those that low. And if I listen to it and I speed it up, say, 30 times normal speeds or 60 times, it, it actually sounds a little bit like a sawwet owl. It's sort of this was this just some chance freak event, sort of like an exotic mm -hmm. bird that shows up in the wrong place at the wrong time? Was that the case, or do we, are we regularly visited by blue whales? This animal was singing, it's a male, advertising itself in the middle of winter. We're going to try every, every means we can to get back out there this fall and start recording. And we could have little messages that would go out from the lab's website that say, we've got blue whales, we've got right whales, we've got fin whales. It's 2009. The largest animal ever to live on this planet is singing off the, just off the shores of the city that never sleeps. I think this is incredible.